Let's talk about the things that you have to put on your website to set you up for success as a photographer. So there are five key points that I want to bring up today. The first one is high quality images. Well, duh, this is kind of a no-brainer, Phil. You know, we knew that we would have to have high quality images. We're a photographer. But seriously, I have seen a lot of photographers not only put up not that great photos, but not that high of a quality. And when I mean quality, I mean it two ways, both awesome shots, but also large file sizes, basically, and not compressed or not small, so that when people view them full screen or however they are viewed, they look amazing. And on your website, I don't know how you want to present them. There are a few different ways, whether it's sort of a gallery, a list of images. Um, there are lots of different plugins and different styles depending on the website hosting and plan that you have. But make sure that people can open them up full screen if they want. Click on them, a little pop-up will open up. Something so that it is large enough for them to really see the details of your great photos. You want to show that off. So that's the first thing, high quality images. The second is a contact page and this is basically the two things that you really need but having a way for potential clients to contact you is really important I don't know how many times people have mentioned on my site oh thanks it was easy to contact you philebner.com because there's a contact button right at the top and that's basically the only link up there aside from the home page and then I know lots of websites that I've visited where I'm like, how do I get in touch with this person? I want to hire them, but I can't. So make sure that you have a contact page and that's easily accessible, ideally with a link at the top of your page of the whole website. The third thing that I think is great is to have an about section with your location. So the about section is a little space for you to tell the website visitor about you, about your photography, why you do it, how you got into it. Now you don't want it to be a narrative, you don't want to take up too much time, but I would say a paragraph or two, 300 words or so is probably as much as you want to write about yourself and people should get a good feeling for who you are and have your location. This could be a map or just saying where you are because people might be coming to your website from all over the world and might want your photos or your photography skills, but if they're not in your area, then there's no point for them to try to work with you. So having that location in the About section is good. The fourth thing is more of a just general idea, but having easy navigation. So this is pretty obvious, but you want your website visitor to know how to get around. You want them to know, hey, this is where I look at photos. This is where I find out more about the photographer. This is where I contact the photographer. And those are the main things that they want to find out. And so make sure that whether it's links at the top of the page or you write out sort of directions within the page itself on how to view your website, that make sure that it's easily na navigatable. Um, one thing that a lot of people now are doing on their website is they have a home page, but then at the top there's a link for a start here page. And that could be the about page, and you could just name it start here. And that's where you sort of give the website video visitor more information about yourself and your photography and kind of how to navigate the page, what you're offering, if you're offering to work or if you're offering stock photos or whatever. So make sure that your website is easily navigatable. And lastly, the fifth thing that I think you should have if you can do it is a blog. And I mentioned this in the last lesson about the pros and cons of having a blog and blogs are hard. I've started more blogs than I've successfully kept up with and I've actually only kept up with about two blogs consistently for more than a year and so blogs are hard because you have to be consistent with it 
you have to post regularly and it's tiring to do that and sometimes you don't have work at a certain time and if people see that you're not working because you haven't posted a blog in a month or two they might think oh well this guy's not that great because they don't work that much um, so making your blog more of a general rather than oh I did a photo shoot today and here's some photos making it more general and just sharing some awesome photos that are more timeless and evergreen that is a good way to do it and just plan on posting once a month I would say to start out with rather than having a goal of posting once a week and getting tired and not being able to do it so that's my caveat have a blog if you can keep up with it if you aren't gonna keep up with it don't have a blog because it will look bad on your website if you only have blog posts from a year ago I love simple websites and so while these were five tips I think overall the overarching goal that you should have is to be simple have a clean website make it all about the photos that you're trying to share so remember the five tips high quality images a contact page that's easily findable an about page that shares your location making sure your whole website is easy to navigate and lastly a blog if you can keep up with it okay thanks and I hope these tips have helped you and Good luck with building your website.